Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Doritos pencil case. This is a collab with some wonderful crafters here on YouTube, including Sarah from So Craftastic, Ashley from Ashley and Laz, and Jennifer from Wonderland Crafter. I'll put the links to all of their videos down below in the description, but let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to need a bag of Doritos or any chips that you enjoy. Gently open the top so that you don't rip anything, and then eat the chips. My favorite part of the tutorial. Then you're going to open the other side of the chip bag once it's empty and then cut down the middle of the back. So you should have one giant piece like this. Now the inside of the chip bag is going to have crumbs and oils so just wipe those down with a wet paper towel or a wipe. Then you're going to need some duct tape. I'm using this gold duct tape. You can use whatever color you want to. I got this one at Walmart but we're just going to basically line all of the silver lining of the bag with the duct tape. Once your bag is completely lined with duct tape, then we're going to need a zipper. Now you can buy a zipper online or at a craft store, or you can just rip one out of an old pencil bag that you're not using. You're going to put your zipper face down on the right side of the chip bag, so on the outside part. So it'll look like this. Then using a stapler, we're going to staple all along the zipper. You don't want to get too close to the zipper and you don't want to get too close to the edge. I like to try to be right there in the middle. So just staple all the way across, trying to keep them as close together as you can. So once you've gone all the way across, you're gonna flip it over and then pull the zipper down. So you're folding it like this so that your zipper is laying flat and you're bending it down because then we're going to use some more duct tape and we're going to put a piece right over the staples. And this is basically going to protect us from hurting ourselves on the staples. It's gonna make it look a lot prettier and cleaner. And it's also going to improve the structural integrity of the bag. Make sure you don't put duct tape over the zipper, otherwise we won't be able to open it. Now we're going to open up the zipper. This is very important because if you don't open the zipper, you won't be able to turn it inside out later. So now we're going to place the other side of the zipper on again the front side of the bag but the other side does that make sense i hope that makes sense then again once we've stapled all the way across turn it over and fold it down so that the duct tape is touching the duct tape and then put a piece of duct tape over those staples and this is what it should look like we want the pouch to look like the chip bag so make sure that the zipper is centered and then staple along the tops and bottoms of the bag and then duct tape over those as well so now that everything is duct taped, we're going to gently and slowly turn the entire bag inside out. This is why we left the zipper open, otherwise there wouldn't be a hole for us to turn it inside out. And once it's turned inside out, you have a really cool zipper pouch made out of a chip bag. You can do this with candy bags, you can do it with chip bags, pretty much anything that has a bag you can make into a zipper pouch using duct tape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I thought it was really fun. It actually is a pretty quick DIY. It doesn't take very long and I think it came out really cool. This is a really big pencil case. You can obviously use smaller bags or bigger bags. You could probably make a backpack out of the giant chip bag sizes, but I think it's really fun and creative. You can use different colors of duct tape, make pockets, be really creative with it and do whatever you want to. Don't forget to check out all the other awesome tutorials in this back to school collab. I will put the links again down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.